that would be awesome. They're like, we don't want anyone to know about the Keldegrim. The real Keldegrim. Got these boots for you to wear. Thank you. All right, dude, we got it. Oh, I see. So, Keldergrim is an old quest, but the Luck of the Dwarves is a, a new item from 2017? Ooh. <laughs> Nothing at all, Sir Theodore. I have all the items you've asked me to get you. Can you make the statue now? Yes, that'll do just fine. There's only one problem now. I still need to make the head. So, you need me to find a crown now as well? No, 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 no. Apparently, the consortium has decided that crowns are out of fashion, as well as kings. Well, kings have been out of fashion for here for hundreds of years. So, what's the head supposed to look like now? I don't think they've quite made a decision on that. You see, I think each of the directors of the consortium fancies their own face on top of the statue. What? But I thought the whole point was that it would look like the king what's-his-face. Yes, the consortium can be a little fickle like that, unfortunately. But you can go see if they've made a decision yet. I can't very well continue working on this statue without knowing what the face should look like, can I? No, I suppose you cannot. All right, I'll check it out. Great. In the meantime, I'll build the statue up to the neck. We're going to have just a headless statue. Look at that. It looks great. They must love this headless statue. Yeah, try a blue face indeed. All right, so... Um, I should speak to the company director, alright, um, where is the consortium? I mean, I went up here, is this the consortium? This factory with all the banners? B but is the head honcho there, too? Who's this dude? Leave an old dwarf in peace, will you? Why? What's wrong? Ninety years down in the mines, and all I got out of it... And this is all I got out of it all, all my life, wasted away. You got a nice house, don't you? A crumbsy old house in East, that's all my life amounts to. I'll leave you alone with your sorrows. Oh, okay, thank you. They got a nice chamber up there. Well, of course they do. Uh-huh. Now that goes downstairs. Um, who are these people? Oh, no, I don't need that. What are you up to? No. Alright. Oh, the stock exchange thing? Okay, thank you, thank you. That makes sense. It's a nice furnace, that is. Nice as I've seen. All right, we're going to get to this consortium, shmum shmordium. Who are you? What do you need of the white chisel? Um, I need to speak to the director. 
I don't see any reason to grant such a privilege to a lowly worker. No, first you must prove yourself. I've come from Blazador the Sculptor. Blazador does not command the White Chisel. But Commander Veldebon of the Black Guard has instructed me to do this. Nor does the Black Guard. They are under the command of the Consortium, not the other way around. Um... Well, what can I help you with? The White Chisel always has work to do. No, get out of here. I don't want to do that. Here, let me talk to the director. If you're looking for the market, it's downstairs. Nope, I'm not. My secretary is sitting just over there. Thank you. Oh, God. Oh, I have to pick which head that I want or something? I thought they said to talk to everybody. Is there anything you need assistance with? I need to speak to the director. And why would I grant you a request like that? You need to prove yourself to the company first before such a privilege is bestowed on you. How can I prove myself? It's all very simple. You perform some tasks for us. Help us out a little. When we need something done urgently and in reward, you will rise in our estimation. All right. Oh, okay. Pick a direct a director I like the color of. I see. Well, I gotta say, I got blue skin. I'm going blue. Blue head, indeed. Can I help you with anything? Oh, that's interesting, Sir Theodore. Oh, wow. Look at this. It's going to look like this. This is funny. I like it, Lance. I don't know if I can do that long, but I definitely like the idea of it. I'll think about it, my friend. You went with the green guy because he had the most impressive beard. This guy's petticoat and mustache and scowl are really impressive. Can I help you with anything? What can I help you with? Um, I do have a task for you. Four pieces of copper ore. Yes, I'll take it. The clock is ticking. All right. So you need some copper. All right. Let's go down the steps. Oh, darn. You're right. I'm speaking with the secretary. It's so confusing that the secretary is behind that, like, giant um, desk. Is there an anvil in here? Um, I see a forge. Okay, I could just take the metal from here. All right, great. Copper? Wait, copper ore? Is that what they said? Hmm, I'll have to go to the bank for that. Or wait, can I get my my unsmelted stuff? Oh, okay. It's at the furnace. All right, gotcha. All right, let me take four out. All right, and let's go back up the steps. Bum, 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 bum. All right. Let me look at this guy. Blue guy. I'm just going based on the color. Eh, he has a pretty nice mustache. I'll take it. I also like suns, to be honest. And blue opal is just confusing, so... I, here's your ore. I have to admit, I was worried for a moment, but I'm glad to see you came through for us. I need to speak to the director... 
Um, and let's see, how can I prove myself? Okay. What else do you need, dude? Three pieces of clay in 13 minutes. I'll take it. All right. Okay. <laughs> Pewters is funny, Neo. I like it. Oops, excuse me. Thank you, Biscuit Cat. All right, um, bang. Oh, no, I need more clay. My God. All right. Um, I'm going to have to go mine clay, I guess. Actually, you know what? Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. It's because of the red hat. He didn't have the hat. Got the clay. Take me back to Geldergrim. All right. Blue opals, I'm coming for you. You know me. You love me. I've got... I hope you want just clay and not soft clay. Here it is. You have another task? There's always work. Five pieces of gold ore. All right, I'll take it. This one's easier. <laughs> Isn't that funny, Nick, man? I would, like, log in one day, and my bank would be all perfectly organized. I'd be so confused. I'd be like, what is this? Oh, no, I don't have any gold ore. I'm ruined. All right, well... We're just going to have to do the old trick. Thank you, Selena, for this fantastic ring. <laughs> Makes this quest a little easier. I don't have it in my bank, do I? That would be funny. I have gold bars in my bank, but not the ore. Oh, you can't even put gold in the furnace until that quest? Oh, interesting. Now that I didn't know. It's a festive time here at the Grand Exchange. You know the other nice thing about taking the uh, blue opals is that they're right by the steps. I mean, this is a really easy one to work with. The yellow is very close to. Here's your ore. You're always reliable. Um, can I speak to the director? How many of these I gotta do? That's not a request I can grant you yet, even though I'm impressed with you so far. What else must I do? Keep what you're doing. All right. What else do you need? Oh, I got clay, dude. I. That's why I bought extra. Oh, that's true, Neo. Well... Fair enough. 
Here's your dude. Here's your stuff, dude. Look how fast that was. What else you got? Oh, I get to speak with the director. Have you come to serve the blue opal again? Yes. That's an interesting question, Sir Theodore. I almost want to do it for that reason. But I've made my bed with blue, being blue that I am. Um, Blazadar, the sculptor, has sent me. Oh yes, is this in connection with the statue, presumably? He says he needs to know what the head of the statue should look like now that it's no longer going to look like King Alvis. Oh yes, Pregdemar suggested that it should be one of us. The era of kings is long gone, after all. Now the consortium provides peace and above all prosperity, so the statue should reflect this. That's interesting. Haredemar? Who's Haredemar? He's the director of the Red Axe. Ha! That old fool is quite fancy. His head, uh, fancies his own head up on the statue. He thinks he can get away with that just because his company is one of the largest in the consortium. Oh, okay, Sir Theodore. So I shouldn't tell the sculptor that he should base it on him then? Certainly not. The consortium has yet to make a decision. All the companies are vying for the honor. Um, I'd support you. Ah, uh, would you now, would you? I'm not altogether sure. Much appreciated though you are, you're not really a part of the Blue Opal. Not as such. What if I were? Were what, a part of the Blue Opal? Yes, that certainly might change things. Um, that might... Okay, thank you for your time. Don't mention it. Um. Alright, so I did speak with him. Let's go talk to the Red Axe, I guess. It's over here. God. Or is this... Um. Yep. What's up, old dude? I am conducting a meeting here. Be gone. Wow, he's really nice. Don't bother me. Wow, the secretary won't even talk to me. I mean, come on here. Alright, I tried to talk to him. He ain't cool about it. Let us converse a while on your future with us. Um, I'd like to officially join your company. Oh, the cats? I gotta get my necklace. Interesting. A human joining the Blue Opal? But no, you may have proven yourself to my head secretary, and much appreciated that as well. You have not fully proven yourself to me. So no, I cannot grant you this request yet, but I will certainly keep it in mind. In the meantime, make sure you help out the Blue Opal in any way you can. Um, alright. You have any more tasks for me? Why, certainly. We need three bars of gold in the next 16 minutes. I'll take it. All right. So I got... I actually have the gold bars in my bank. Yeah, I, I'll get it out. Good call. wearing it. Okay. Let's get back in there. We've got you covered, Blue Opal dude. I'm reporting directly to the director. You like that? Here's your bars. You never fail to satisfy. Um, you got any more tasks? Two bars of bronze. All right. I'll take it.
Now, I get the forge has the bars, right? Give me two. Let's do this. I got your stuff. Here's your bars. Have you ever considered joining? You'd make a marvelous member. I'd like to officially join. Interesting, a human joining. But you certainly have proven yourself to be a most worthwhile contributor. I have not seen such dedication in all my years as director of this company. It is agreed, then. You are now a trusted associate of the Blue Oak. Welcome. I will not disappoint you. All right. Um, let's go. Let's, let's promote this dude. Yes, it's in connection with the statue. I'd support you. Would you now, would you? That might well work. Yes, an outsider in the city might have considerably more influence than one might expect if we play our cards right. How do you mean, play our cards right? We wait until the most opportune moment for you to show your support. Yes, you must really come along to one of our meetings. Now you're really losing me. What meetings? A consortium meeting. When all the directors meet on the top floor of the palace. We have them from time to time. We'll have another one soon to once and for all solve our little problem with the statue. So what do you say? Will you speak out for me at the next meeting so that they will base the head of the statue on me? Um, you got it, buddy. Do I want to see the throne room before you leave the, the palace? Sure. Long live the Blue Opal. Hurrah. Now will be a good time to visit Kel uh, Veldebon of the Black Guard in the west. Hey, Jordan, what is up? Let's talk to the cat. Oh, where'd the cat go? This cat belongs to the director. You can't talk to it. It's a non-speaking cat. The throne room is upstairs? Oh, okay, cool. There is another gnome here. Interesting. Been busy with work and school? I hear you, my friend. Oh, wow. Look at this room. Look at that throne. Oh, my. This looks kind of like Emperor Palpatine's throne. I don't know what to make of this. There is a shroud over the throne. What, because they don't like kings anymore? Because they're like, we don't have kings? <laughs> I don't know how he trusts me, but he does. Wow. That's a bold statement, Sir Theodore. I'll have to see why that is. It's interesting, though, Sir Theodore. It's maybe one of the only throne rooms, though. I mean, because... Uh, as I recall... Um... King Rold is never in a throne room. And then the Duke of Lumbridge is not in a throne room. He's like in his bedroom. Oh, where is the room where the... Uh... I know I went into it on mistake, like accidentally. There's a big place. Let's see. It has all the big wigs in it. Let's see. Where are you? Big wig place. No, not that place. I 
he's west of the bank. Oh, okay. Oh, in this place. This is the big place. Yes, yes, yes. There he is. Oh, yeah. What does the boot cat say? Let's go talk. I know what you did, Dr. Incompetent. What did I do? You stole a boot from my master. All for a greater good. Hiss. Oh, he was upset about that. He's like, I'd tell my master if I could speak to him. Give him your amulet. All right, Velds. What news from the consortium? I have told the director of the Blue Opal that I will support their bid to be put upon the statue. Then perhaps they can finally end their impasse. Well, let's get to the meeting then. What now? Yes. Are you ready? I'm ready. I do have to warn you, this meeting may take a while. Do you want to attend the meeting personally, or do you simply want the minutes of the meeting so you could read what happened afterward? Um, does it matter what you do here? Do I miss out on something massive if I uh, don't attend? Okay. I want to attend. I got to speak out, right? If I don't speak out, then it's going to be the red axe, isn't it? Happy to hear. Let's hurry then. I think the meeting has already started. Oh, okay. I missed the cutscene. Keldegrim Palace Consortium Meeting. Oh, there's the throne again. Clearly, it is I who is the most suitable, says the brown engine. Yellow Fortune, a male? How preposterous. Silver Cog? But the statue is clearly male. It can't have a female head. Yeah, good call, Nick Man. Enough of this, everyone. This bickering is pointless. The Red Axe is the largest and wealthiest mining company. We have all rights here. The fact that the Red Axe does its accounting behind closed doors makes that claim quite dubious, says the White Chisel. Ooh, take that. We are not assembled here to squabble over accounting details or the economic state of the consortium. Perhaps then we should choose a director for the statue at random? No, I will go on top of that statue. I proposed this in the first place. Here I am. The cat wanted to sit on the throat. That's funny, Nick, Nick man. Gosh, nurse incompetent. I actually can't rightly say. I have so many foods that I like. I love food. Veldavan, commander of the Blackguard in Keldegrim, presenting himself to the consortium with a guest. Nice bow. A human at a consortium meeting? What is this? This human helped to rebuild the statue. He's deserved this honor, surely. Never mind the fact that he destroyed it. Amusing. I accept. This is outrageous. I'm warning you. The Red Axe will boycott the trade octagon. Stop your hollow threats and let the human speak. That would be awesome, Colors of Mew. I'd love it. Well then, what's it going to be? I choose the Blue Opal. Oh, look at the Red Axe. He's walking out. You'll regret this, all of you. Uh-oh. That doesn't look like it's going to bode well. A little while later. Let's see it. Oh, there's that mustache. Yep. He he walked off in a huff, Sir Theodore. Yeah, looking good. Look at those boots. Those fine clothes and that axe. Doom, we did it. The giant dwarf. Got a bunch of experience. Two quest points. Um, ability to complete tasks for a dwarven mining company. We can use the carts. Access to members' gravestones. What? 
What is that all about? Hey, thieving up to 50. Now we are talking. Fantastic. All right. Well, we did it. We completed the giant dwarf. And now the next quest is called Forgettable Tale of a Drunken Dwarf. Uh-oh. Maybe we find out more information about that dude who got fired from the Red Axe. We will see. You got that right, Nick Man. Well, everyone, that was a lot of fun. And it was also fun to change the color and of my skin and the outfit. So I've had a really good time this evening. Forgettable Tale is where it really picks up. Oh, awesome, Sir Theodore. It was a hilarious quest. Oh, the next one is even funnier, Neo? Awesome. Everyone, I want to thank you so much for coming out. I hope you all have an excellent evening or day, my friends. Neo, Brew, Crab, Sir Theodore, Nickman, Colors of Mew, Jordan Todd, Dr. Octagonopus, Episca Cat, Fading, Nurse Incompetent, Lance, IBK if you're out there, Grognak, Crispy Bacon, Everyone, take care. Hey, the Gaming Rock. Good evening, my friend. So good to see you. Sorry, we're ending. Yep, I gotta go to sleep, but I'll be uh, I'll be back tomorrow, my friend. Take care. <laughs>